Yeah, we're using uh, Saunders Waterford 300 gram knot paper, so it's a mid textured paper. Um, it's a nice, nice paper. We can get some nice wet and wet washes. It's something. It's a, it's a paper that I use frequently as Saunders. So uh, we'll make a start. I'm gonna first of all just wet the paper. So I'm coming down. I'm not masking these trees off. I could mask the trees off. Uh, I could mask all these off with some masking fluid first. Certainly these these ones in the middle. Um, put the wash on and then take those off. But I think the the colour with it being a mid tone, I can probably get away with just putting the sky in um, and then going over, glazing over with a with a, a green. So first of all, I'm going to wet this sky. Make sure I get a lot of water on. I'm bringing that all the way down over these trees. Just being careful to bring it down and come down to the roof on this little building in the distance. Just work around that. To this wall, so get that all nice and wet. Sometimes it just helps to just look from the side, and you can just see a, a sheen on the paper if it's covered. Come all the way down to this wall this side and again just missing out the little building in the distance just go in at the top and re-wet that Using a squirrel wash brush, I think it's a number uh, six. So I'm going to make a start on the sky. So I'm mixing up some cobalt blue. Silurian blue as well, just to get that shade in the top corner. I'm going to start dropping that in now. So coming over the trees, trying to keep a nice light area just above these trees in the centre. And we're going all the way along. Again, just coming over the trees. This will show through when we get the trees in. I'm just going to let that run down and do its thing. Leave it that. It's easy to keep going, but I think the best best thing to do is just to let it do its own thing. Just leave it, put a wash on, and then leave it leave it to just run down. Okay, so we've got that wash in for the sky. I think what we'll do next is try and get some of this canopy in for these trees this right hand side so we're going to use some sap green just mix some up there and maybe add a touch of cadmium yellow 
So we just put a mixed that as well. And I'm just starting to. This is going to run quite a bit because it's obviously still wet, but I'll just start to drop these canopy of the trees on this side. vary this as we come along so I'm introducing a little bit of raw sienna now and just a little bit of burnt umber you can vary this just adds a bit more interest sap green bit of a tree line at the back of this house. Just drop that in as well. It's a little tree overhanging. Come right across. bottom layer. Up the dark again, and drop in some of these walls, stones on this side. colours, some green in there, some browns. Okay, 
so we'll go back to these uh, trees on the left and we'll just put that shadow side 